Today, we are going to review the procedure to calibrate an ADB-LC constant current regulator, also commonly called an SCR regulator, using control board 44D-1475. Equipment required includes a true RMS meter with current clamp, a small non-conductive screwdriver or calibration tool, a small jumper to set the overcurrent limit, a short length of 8 gauge cable to short the regulator output. Alternately, the CCR can be shorted using the series cutout. Refer to manual 96A01044 for 4, 7.5, and, and 10 kW regulators, 96A0148 for 15 kW, 96A0158 for 20 kW, and 96A0165 for 30 kW. There are two different control boards in use. The older, larger board, 44D1475, looks like this, but is no longer available. This procedure shows how to calibrate this older model board. The new control board, 44A6546, looks like this, and calibration procedures are described in a different video. Before we begin the calibration, first a safety warning. Read the instructions in the manual in their entirety before starting calibration. Only personnel qualified to work on high voltage systems should attempt to make any adjustments on the constant current regulator. To shut down the CCR, set the rotary switch to the off position. Also, turn the circuit breaker off. Note that power to the output terminals is now off and the regulator cannot be energized by remote control signals. Power is still present on the input power terminals and on the internal control circuitry. To remove input power, disengage the disconnect switch or external circuit breaker. Calibrate the CCR with no load present by shorting the regulator's output. This can be done using an SCO or S1 cutout to short the output, or by placing a short length of series circuit cable across the output. This will avoid the possibility of outputting a higher than normal current into the airfield lighting circuit. Next, attach a true RMS meter with current clamp around the series circuit wire. Since the output current of the CCR will not be a true sine wave, a true RMS meter must be used. Refer to the tables on screen for the nominal RMS output current levels for a three-step 6.6 amp regulator and a five-step 6.6 amp regulator. This screen shows the nominal RMS output current levels for a five-step 20 amp regulator. 20 amp regulators are manufactured only as five step. There are a group of six potentiometers on the 44D1475 control board. Potentiometer R47 is the master reference adjustment. Changing this potentiometer changes the settings of all the other potentiometers, which are R43, R44, R45, R46, and R48. R47 is adjusted first to calibrate the regulator at the highest step, which is B5 for a five step or B100 for a three step. The lower steps are then calibrated as follows. R46 is used to calibrate B4 for a five step or B30 for a three step. R45 is B3 on a five step or B10 on a three step. R44 is used to calibrate only B2 on a five step regulator and R43 is used only to calibrate B1 on a five step regulator. R48 is the overcurrent adjustment which will be discussed in a moment. The potentiometer should be adjusted with a suitable small non-conductive screwdriver or potentiometer adjustment tool. Turn on the CCR and set the local control switch to the highest intensity step. 
the true RMS ammeter should read 6.6 plus or minus 0.1 amps. If the reading is outside of this range, adjust R47 to obtain 6.6 amps. Set the local control switch to the next lowest brightness step and verify that the true RMS ammeter reading corresponds to the appropriate current value for each step. If the reading is not in the correct current range, adjust the potentiometer for that step until the correct current value is present. Repeat the step for the remaining lower brightness steps. Next, we will adjust step B4 on this five-step regulator. We will adjust potentiometer R46 until we get 5.2 amps. Now set B3 to 4.1 amps. Then adjust B2 for 3.4 amps. Finally, set B1 to 2.8 amps. Next, we will adjust the overcurrent setting. Before adjusting the overcurrent, make sure the output current step settings are correct. To adjust the overcurrent, perform the following procedure. With power off, connect a test lead from test point 7 to test point 9 on the control board. This will move the trip level for the overcurrent detection threshold from the normal operating point of 6.93 amps to 6.6 amps. Turn the local switch to the highest brightness step. The display on the front of the regulator should read 6.6 .6 amps or 20 amps for a 20 amp CCR. Note that you should not change the adjustment of R47 since this would affect both the maximum CCR output current and the potentiometer adjustment levels for all other current levels. Physically center the overcurrent potentiometer R48. While viewing the red overcurrent LED on the front of the regulator, slowly turn R48 clockwise until the LED begins to glow. Then quickly turn the local control switch to the next lower intensity step This will turn the LED off because the current level is reduced. Note that if potentiometer R48 is turned too far, the CCR will shut down. If this should occur, return R48 to the centered position and reset the CCR by momentarily turning the CCR off then back on. While watching the overcurrent LED, return the local control switch to the high intensity step and time how long it takes for the overcurrent LED indicator to start to glow. It should take two to three seconds. If the LED comes on in less than two seconds, turn R48 slightly counterclockwise. If more than four seconds are required for the LED to light, turn R48 slightly clockwise. Repeat until two to three seconds is obtained. Turn off the CCR and remove the jumper connecting test point seven and test point nine. The trip level for the overcurrent threshold is now calibrated for 6.93 amps. Note the potentiometers R43, R44, R45, and R46 have independent circuits, so any adjustments made on these potentiometers will not affect the adjustment of the other potentiometers. When the output current adjustment has been completed, 
turn off the CCR. Set the series cutout to the normal operating position or remove the shorting cable on the CCR output if used. Reconnect the air filled circuit and verify that the calibration is correct at all steps. Note that for a 20 amp regulator, the procedure is the same, except that R47 will be adjusted for 20 amps and the remaining four steps are adjusted as demonstrated in this video. For additional information, please refer to the manual for your CCR, which is available on the ADB website at www.adb-air.com. You may also contact ADB customer service directly using the information shown on the screen. Thank you for your attention.